Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience. Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're all having a good day today. Good Wednesday, middle of the week. This week, kind of going by fast. I got Monday off, and uh, man, did I realize... I'm lazy <laughs> like like I knew this before but man I got nothing accomplished on Monday I'm just gonna say or Tuesday that's what really kind of made me upset like Tuesday I woke up extra early but nothing else was accomplished like really like it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous not happy with myself not happy with myself at all so here I am Wednesday morning had to wake up extra extra early because I have to work in the morning, which is right now. Just trying to squeeze this episode in. I have stuff planned for this episode, like it's not going to be like a rushed episode or anything, but it's just not exactly at the time that uh, I would ha that I would ideally want to do it. And um, there's a good little, I don't know, it's not like a quote, but it's a little insight that I heard. I forgot exactly where I heard it from. But that was they were talking about procrastinating and how it's not so much that you're lazy like it can be because you're lazy but there's another type of procrastination where you're almost like afraid you know you're like afraid of the task you're afraid of how much effort you're gonna have to use and and all that sort of stuff and i think that is kind of what I have sometimes of course that's no excuse or anything like you still got to get your stuff done but there's a certain like a uh, stress fear kind of I, I think the fear mostly comes from like schoolwork you know like uh, that's at least what I experienced in my brain when I was in school just like oh no I don't want to have to do this task I'm gonna have to research this I'm gonna have to look this up but if I don't know this how long is it gonna take and that would be the fear of the unknown and then I would just like not want to do it and so I would procrastinate and uh, I, I feel like I did that a lot and I feel like I don't know kids do that a lot and so that was an interesting take on it I thought um, but this lazy or this uh, procrastination that I had yesterday, I was just lazy. I was just lazy. I played Advanced Warfare a little bit. I played some uh, other games. I almost just told you what guys I was gonna be playing next. Oh man, uh, I I worked on the trailer for my uh, the next experience, and it is my favorite trailer yet. I gotta tell you, beautiful people, that was uh, what I've done with that. I think you guys are gonna like it. It's really epic, really cool, and I hope. I hope you guys like it. I really do. I think you will. I think you'll like it. Uh, but anyway, anyway, here we are, Minecraft. I, uh, I'm kind of worried here. Kind of worried because uh, I have a new, not a new setup. Not, it's not new. It's old. Um, I have now, it finally came, I have a, um, what do you call this thing? right here what do you call it um shock mount that's what it is shock mount for my microphone uh which is really nice which is really nice so if i ever decide to move it like physically like i don't think you guys can hear that you guys can probably hear that because it's a really sensitive microphone but you know i thought that was pretty cool um do we want this like this? I think we want that like that. So yeah, last episode we decided, here we are back at Villager Trading Center. Last episode we decided this is what we want to do for that right there. And I think that should be just fine. Now what we need to do is we need to get these doors ready to go. And I think I have the majority of stuff here. I do want to have... Um, I was thinking about doing clay or quartz or something, but for this episode, for our purposes today, we are just going to do the simple, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? We're going to do the two by three stone brick. There you go. That took so much. This is why I don't do stuff in the morning, guys. This is, this is why. This is why. What is what are we playing right now? It's a it's a it's a game with blocks. Yeah, I'm really tired right now. Um, but yeah, shockbound doing really good. Microphone acting a little weird though. Micro or uh, 
Minecraft sounds not really coming through. Is this where we want the doors? You know what? I I just I did decide we were gonna have two sets of doors just to make it like um symmetrical because this right here is like the center of the room right here. So you can't really have a door there. I mean you can. But it just doesn't make sense. So I wanna have two sets of doors, one there, one there connected to the uh, to the same room and maybe we'll even have the same log on the other side which can be cool so uh, I'm really happy with this I'm really really happy with this that's what we got going on here two by three right here and let's dig in let's do five blocks one two three four five okay that should be a good enough room but we're probably gonna need another maybe two blocks for the door just to get that door on securely so we're gonna go one two one two that should be perfect very good, very good. All right. Looking good. What did I say? Five blocks from here, and then two more, right? Two, three, four, five. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. But yes, microphone acting weird. <laughs> I keep on getting distracted. Uh, microphone acting weird. It's been turning off randomly as well, which is really concerning. Like, I, I woke up, I turned on my computer when I was half awake, and... um. I, um, I, I turn on my computer and usually the microphone is default on all the time. So, uh, that's usually what it is. But for this, for some reason this morning, it was like, no, we're going to be on. And it was like, Hey, wait a minute. That's, that's not right. That's not what you normally are. That's, that's weird. So I'm keeping an eye on it, but if I ever just randomly cut, that's probably why. <laughs> so, uh, do this this is one of the uh, the easiest piston designs you can have right here I need to have no we don't we just need a block we need a torch how many redstone do I got we we'll probably need a little bit more than that let's do this and do that and then we can do one two three four one mm, one two three four and then we'll have these four for the other side we'll do two there I think that's it. I think so. And then one, two, three, four, four, six. For that side. Okay. So we'll do that. And the way you do this is very, very simple. Uh, since the piston doors are going to be right here, right? Yes, we'll have a design here and whatever, hiding the pistons. But since they're going to be right here, we dig down two. And this is my first ever like redstone door design. So this is what really got me into redstone right here. So we'll put our pressure plates down here. You can put them there. I like putting them back a little bit more because they kind of add a little bit of depth. And we can put flower pots here or like shelves with leaves. And it's going to be so cool. We can have like art up there with paintings or something or design our own painting. And so yeah. So then we come down here and we go down and then we can go right underneath those pistons right there, right? Those pistons will power this block. And then they'll power... Okay, <laughs> that was not a redstone. They'll power that redstone, which will come through here. And then back up, back up. There we go, right through there. And then we'll, we will do this right onto... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Says it's the easiest redstone piston door he's ever made. Forgets how to make it. Good YouTube video. Dislike, unsubscribe, get out of here. Stupid donuts. <laughs> no, no, no. I just forgot to do this little part. The way we we, uh, we do this is that the door is going to be closed uh, by default, which is kind of natural. So we'll put the redstone right there. And then we'll put a torch right here. Bam. Those will close, and now we just power that block with this redstone, which is right there, which means we do that, and it's just that simple, just that simple. So we'll do that, that's probably where that's going to go, bam, bam, very good, and we just do this on the other side, we go out one, and then this is where the pressure plates are going to be right there, make sure these are whole blocks when we do that, and um... We'll go up like this and then power these guys on. Alright, I would get this coal, but I don't need it. And I'll pay for it. So there we go, we have that. And so now when we step on the pressure plates, bam, they just pull back. Now that 
is dirty simple. We don't need stone bricks there. I don't want stone bricks there. Let's put some cobblestone there just to make it look cool. So yeah, then we do that. And then we can have, let's put uh, some of this down there. And then we'll have some of that. Yeah. Bam. Perfect. And we can put, uh-oh. We can put uh, different lights and stuff all around here. And then we'll go in like that. Actually, we'll do this. Because I, I really love this dark oak for uh, floors and such. So do that. And so this is where we're going to hide these pistons. And so we'll put the whole block here. And then we will put the wooden pressure plates right there. See? Quick and easy. Dirty simple. Really like it. And this will just be to cover up for now. This will be something different. This will be a different design. And all that sort of stuff. Alright. Very happy with that. That's very good. Very, very good. I like that. Open. Close. Super, super simple. Super, super simple. So, now what we need to do um, for this episode, and this will kind of prompt me uh, for the next episode on Friday. What we got to do now. First of all, clear out this room, right? Uh, I've got a different ceiling design that I want to do. Is anything spawned in there yet? Dang it. Dang it. I want something to spawn in there to be cool. It's atmospheric, I promise. Um, I, I want... Yeah, okay, so... Now we can kind of come back maybe to here. Obviously we need to clear out this room a little bit. We need to put some chests in here. We need to put uh, something else in here, which is a way for the villagers to get up. And I have decided it is going to be on this part of the room. And then from here on out, we can like push them in a mine cart. You know, it's not going to be too fancy. I know, I know one of you beautiful people said, hey, you know, you should actually have a way to sort them so they come up here or something. Uh, that would be nice, but I, I, I didn't design for that since the beginning, so I don't really have that in mind. And so, what I'm probably going to do is I'll, I'll do that villager sorting system when I do my iron farm and when I actually do like a villager, like a perfect villager setup. So, that'll come. This is more for fun right now. So, let's actually... I like that. I like this little wall right here. We could maybe even indent it. Cause I like this little quaint feeling we have, like a little room. Like if you ever, if you have a bank, if you have a bank, you know you have that big lobby area, just huge. But then if you go into a side room, it's like a quaint little office space, and I really like that. So we are gonna actually dig up here, and hopefully not hit the outside. But if we do, it really shouldn't be a big deal because there's a whole lot of mountain over here. Not really. They, we can like terraform over so we're gonna come out oh maybe a couple more but the main thing is we need to get the coordinates of this place down because we need to then finally dig down all the way to where our villagers are because that is really what's gonna tie this place together finally making the bottom area and this top area uh, one and what I was thinking do we have a center here? Right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful right there. And we have a center there. So we have this five by five area right here. So let's go out two more. Let's go out two more. And you guys will see why. Because there is a five by five uh, minecart design. Not like an elevator, but just like a ramp for the uh, minecarts to actually get up that I want to use. And it can be a really cool safe fall slash uh, minecart rail system. So uh, if you watch Hermitcraft, they use it all the time. They use it all the time and I've never used it. I I've never seen it before. Uh, it's pretty like simple, like you have a safe drop in the middle and then you have a minecart that goes off. So now this is our center right here and this is where the safe ball the safe ball is going to be. It's going to be a ball. It's going to be really safe. Really, really safe. <sighs> and um, the 5x5 five by air, the five by five area will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So right here, we may even go out maybe one or two more. Just because this will be the area and I want this to be for us to be able to go back and forth a little bit. It'll make sense. It'll make sense once we get started. But right here will be the coordinates that we need to take. Uh, so around 26, 163. So 163 this way. And about 25 or so this way. So really, that should be no big deal. 23, 165. Uh-oh, my alarm's going off. Uh-oh, I have to match. Oh no, I have to match. I have to match. Okay, beautiful people, this is something new I'm trying. Oh, I wish you can see. This is like a little game inside a game. Oh crap, I have the most terrible memory. This was so easy before. What is this? Okay, so I got an app on my phone that um, when there, when my alarm goes off, it's like, oh, you're not allowed to get up until you do these little mini games and one of them is math and I couldn't do the math even when I was like lucid and awake oh now I gotta shake my phone okay and <laughs> this is this is so exciting like I wish you guys could see this okay I'm awake thank you all right so <laughs> which means it's eight o'clock which means it's time for work but anyway as I was saying before um yeah I was doing that <laughs> and uh now I have something programmed to where <laughs> That was so silly. Where I have to uh, match up colors, where I have to remember colors, match them up in order to make the alarm uh, not go off. And then I have to shake my phone. And uh, that was something I used to actually wake up this morning. And it kind of pissed me off, to be honest with you. Like, um, uh, I, I was doing it and I was shaking. I was like, why do I need to shake my phone? This is dumb. Just turn the alarm off. I tried everything. I tried the volume button. I've tried the power button. It didn't work and I had to wake up and it actually worked. So it was really, really beneficial. So that's that's what that was. And I forgot to turn off the eight o'clock alarm. So here we are. Our guys are still here. Look at this beautiful place. I don't think you guys have really seen this um, after I've taken down the beacon. Look at this. Oh. I love this place. This is something I threw together. This is one of the few things I didn't do in creative mode. I'm very, very proud of this. It's very, very beautiful. Very, very fantastic. I oh, I love it so much. I can't wait to actually starting to use it. Look at all this stuff I got down here. Man, it's so good. Um, Yes, but right here, now what we need to do, what was it? 160. So we need to go about 50 or so blocks that way. And 25. And I think that's that's over here. Yeah, 25 is over there. Whoa. Okay, so. That's not too bad. So about 10, 15 blocks that way. 50 blocks that way. And also what we could do, what we very well could do. So we could just, just dig up. Like a like a staircase, which could be fine, could be fine, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Do you guys have any ideas? You beautiful people, you're very happy with what I'm doing right now. I think you guys are very much enjoying this and uh, being back here. It's so great, and it makes me want to finish this. I think I might just take a weekend. Like you might not get a a Monday or a Friday episode, and you might just like get to see this done because I'm I I really want to get this project done. I'm really tired of these like half updates uh, I, I know you beautiful people don't mind but when the walking dead is in Herschel's farm for too long you need to move on and we need to move on so we will see and I may even just kind of put this project on a halt for a little bit and uh, maybe go start a fishing place because really that's a one-off thing that we uh, we don't really need any like huge materials for so maybe we'll do that i don't know we will see but it is eight o'clock it is time for me to shower and get ready for work it is time to feed some people the people are hungry and we need to get them their chicken sandwiches so hopefully you guys have enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and until you next absolutely beautiful minecraft morning i'll catch up with you guys later and as always have a great day